Ready to send in your FBA inventory? Welcome to the first video of the Send to Amazon series. This video gives a quick overview of creating shipments using Send to Amazon. To learn more about the workflow, check out the detailed step-level video tutorials in Seller University. Send to Amazon is a streamlined shipment creation workflow that saves you time by simplifying FBA shipment creation. You are guided through a series of steps based on the decisions you make when creating shipments. Note the steps you see may vary based on your choices. The first step in the workflow is providing box content information. Knowing the contents of each box allows us to move your inventory rapidly through our network with minimal manual touches. Providing us with accurate box content information also reduces the chances of boxes getting sidelined due to inconsistent shipment information, thereby making your inventory available for sale faster. For inventory shipped in boxes containing multiple units of the same SKU, also known as single SKU boxes, you provide box content information through reusable case pack templates. These templates contain information on how your SKUs are prepped, labeled, and packed, and are ideal for SKUs shipped with the same box configuration shipment to shipment. Each time you create a shipment and send to Amazon, the box content information is automatically identified from your case pack template. You can simply enter the quantity of boxes to add them to the workflow and avoid re-entering these same details shipment to shipment when you always pack, prep, and label a SKU the same way. If you are packing more than one SKU in a box, also known as mixed SKU boxes, you'll be prompted to enter the quantity of units of each SKU that you are shipping. Once you have confirmed the inventory that you want to send in mixed SKU boxes, we determine which SKUs can be packed together based on whether they require special handling at our fulfillment centers. For example, SKUs considered to be hazmat or hazardous materials cannot be packed with other SKUs since hazmat SKUs are shipped to special fulfillment centers that can safely receive them. You are then prompted to provide box content information for each group of SKUs that can be packed together. If you are packing all your mixed SKUs in one box, you can directly enter the box weight and dimensions using a web form. If you pack your inventory in multiple boxes, you'll be prompted to upload your box packing details as a spreadsheet. Finally, you can ship both single SKU boxes and mixed SKU boxes simultaneously using Send to Amazon. As an example, if you normally sell fast-selling products on FBA and want to test customer interest with a few new products, you can create shipments with single SKU boxes using the case pack template for your fast-selling products and create mixed SKU boxes for your new products in the same workflow. The next step in the workflow is confirm shipping. Once you have provided box content information, we determine where each box has to be shipped, ensuring that your inventory is placed in close proximity to customers. Based on shipping destinations and boxes, we estimate carrier fees to ship your inventory as individual boxes using small parcel delivery, or SPD, or as pallets using less than truckload, or LTL options. This enables you to make a well-informed decision regarding the shipping mode that works for you. Whatever your shipping mode, you can choose to use an Amazon-partnered carrier and purchase your shipping labels directly from within Send to Amazon, taking advantage of deeply discounted shipping rates. However, you are welcome to use any carrier you like to deliver your inventory to Amazon's fulfillment centers. After confirming your shipping, you are ready to label your boxes and pallets. Let's first consider the small parcel delivery shipping mode. Each box that you send to Amazon's fulfillment centers requires an FBA box ID label identifying the contents of the box. If you're using an Amazon partnered carrier, a shipping label will be generated for each box in addition to the FBA box ID label. Make sure that the correct label is applied to the correct box. If you're shipping pallets, an FBA box ID label will have to be placed on each box before you load them onto a pallet. Once the boxes are palletized, you'll be prompted to choose your carrier and provide pallet details for each shipment in the workflow. After confirming pallet information, you'll get four pallet labels for each pallet, one for each side of a pallet. When you are done labeling your boxes and or pallets, you're ready to hand them off to your carrier and start tracking when your inventory is received at our fulfillment centers. 
If you are using a non-partnered carrier, make sure you provide tracking IDs for your shipments so that we can prepare for their arrival. That concludes our short introduction to Send to Amazon. Check out the detailed step-level video tutorials in Seller University to learn more about the workflow. We'd love to hear what you think about Send to Amazon. Provide feedback by clicking on Your Feedback is Important within each step of the workflow, or click on the Take a Quick Survey link you'll see after you create a shipment. Happy selling! And with Send to Amazon, happy shipment creation too!